area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. Cookies, but I let him run. Niggas ran on this man when he got jumped. I just dropped 30 on my neck. That's heavy. A nigga play, he gotta meet the set. That's heavy. Dan don't like the walk, he like the tech. That's heavy. Bring it in, bring it in, bring it in, take a seat. We gotta speak. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang. Salute to every single one of y'all out there that watch this content, whether religiously or in passing. If you respect the handle, subscribe to the channel, bro. We have to break down this hitman versus calico this back and forth that's going on right now bro this this shit actually getting kind of crazy i'm not even gonna hold you that you know we all know that they supposed to battle on rare breed entertainment coming up july 10th uh they had battled a while ago on snoop dogg's gladiator school it was a one round joint calico got hit man out of here real quick smooth and easy but we fast forward to about seven eight years later both have built bigger names for themselves. Hitman has moved on to do big things, wilding out the battles. He just battled Cassidy not too long ago. Calico's doing his thing, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you, but bruh, I was kind of wondering, I'm not gonna hold you. I was wondering when it was gonna get to what it was gonna get to, you know what I'm saying? Like, and when I say get to, like, the battle's happening, but a lot of people ain't really moving or shaking. Hold on, that's that Trey Young. Y'all seen Trey Young last night? Whew, a lot of people ain't really moving and shaking over this one. It's cool, but it ain't where it should be. Like, it's not a, like, like it ain't part of my back, struck my shoulders, blatant disrespect. It ain't there yet, I promise you. I know when the, when the, when the, when the rhythm is rhythm and when it's moving, when it's bubbling, when everybody's talking about it, that's when everybody's on it. But right now, it's cool. But for the amount that it cost, this shit need to be wild. Like people, they need to be blogs everywhere. They need to be going at each other. They need to be getting ready for a face off. That Cassidy versus Hitman face off alone was one of the epic moments of the year. It's in the bag. Like, come on, son. Like that 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 moment right there is in the bag. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? I knock you out, bro. That 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 energy. Salute to Cass. The energy is not there. I'm just being honest with you. It's not fair that it's not here. And I don't know how we got here. So, what happens? Uh, a flyer came out with an after party for the battle. Um, and Hitman Holler just goes crazy. You know, he's a businessman. It's a flyer with Hitman and Calico for an after party. And Hitman Holler is like, absolutely not. We're not, you're not about to promote no after party with my name and my likeness on it because hitman is a brand you're not about to promote a party and get a bag after we battle for something that i did not agree to so he was wilding he said what kind of goofy sh is this what kind of nigga put a nigga he don't f with him on a flyer and tell people it's after party for our battle unbelievable Y'all be real life cool with niggas doing corny sh over and over and be having the nerve to question a nigga who background solid like mine, but July 10th, I don't wanna hear sh we'll see. Then he says, nigga use my face and name on a flyer that I'm not paid to be at and you saying why you hating on my bag. So if a club wanna pay me for an after party and see that wouldn't stop from mine idiot smh real nigga that y'all respect he said this n-word told twitter he made a bet with sue surf that i'll respond to him surf hasn't spoke to that man like when did y'all start respecting niggas doing all this for clout flat out lied y'all to y'all for what and he also said 30 years old lying in blogs. Go to my IG and look at this goofball. We'll see. Then he talked about uh, Calico being in the blog um, with Angry Fan respectfully saying Hitman Holler got jumped in St. Louis. Um, he said, apparently I got jumped in St. Louis by some Crips recently because my city don't F with me, SMH. 
This the sh I be dealing with in battle rap, a bunch of weirdos. I'm a fake gang member, blah, blah, same sh for 10 years, 24, seven, a grown man willing to spread lies to sound heavy. Tell the niggas that jumped me to comment under you effing goofy, stop the cap, July 10th, we'll see though. Dude said I got robbed in St. Louis. So what it looks like now, is it's a bunch of mess, you know, Calico is uh, basically saying that Hitman got jumped in St. Louis recently by some Crips. Uh, there's some YouTube videos out there. If you want, if you really feel like you want to go do your research, I don't know how true this is or how false, but Hitman is saying that this never happened. Um, and the party thing, party? You want to go to a party? Um, they're saying that basically a party was supposed to be going on after the battle and it's just spilling out now. I think that it could start to lead for the energy that it should be going to because I was wondering where was it? So Hitman's basically slamming Calico saying that this goofy don't know what he's talking about. He He's basically trying to throw smut on my rep saying that I got jumped by some cribs recently in my hometown because my city don't F with me. And he's basically saying that if that is the case, tell them to jump under the video and, and confirm that this actually happened. That's a big step for Hitman because if somebody, what if it actually did and somebody could confirm or deny it, that'd be different. Now I know somebody was saying something about, it was an incident that happened in St. Louis like years ago with Hitman. I think he allegedly, I think he got jumped, but it was like years and years ago. It was after like a charity game or something like that. This is that he was not even the same Hitman that he is right now. He hadn't really blown up yet. And you know, the thing is, I'll be honest with you. When you start to rise, I just seen a story the other day about uh, a dude from the Minnesota Vikings who's from DC. He went back home to DC, he got shot four times. And it's crazy, like once you become a face or a name or you get on, you really become a target where you're from because people will do things just for clout. Like they'll jump you, they'll try to rob you, they'll try to take your chain. They'll try to do all this stuff just to get the attention of other people. Now, I'm not saying that that happened with me because like I said, I can't speak on something that I didn't see or that I really don't even know about, but I can speak on the fact that Hitman is stepping out like, yo, July 10th, all the questions will be answered. I'm only here for the good battle. Like, I just want to see a good battle amongst these two. You know what I'm saying? Like, if this is what it's going to be, y'all stand in the ring with each other, y'all get everything that y'all need to get off, and it moves on like that. You know what I'm saying? All this extra stuff, like with the gangs, and my gang gang, and your gang gang, and my, oh, boom, 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 and my shooters, and all that. Oh, come on, son. Like, it's not even that serious. Hitman's on TV every day. What do we need to, like, like, like does it really need to be anything more than just an actual rap battle? I don't think so. Um, but if you know Calico, like I know Calico, like y'all should know Calico, Calico don't back down from anybody. Like as far as with the shit talking, he's gonna talk his shit. He's gonna do his promotion. He's gonna make people get a buzz about the battle. And the thing is, when it comes to Midwest, him, Verb, Hitman, they never really got along like that. It's always been some static about who's the number one in the Midwest. Verb and Calico battle. I had Calico winning that battle. The good sense, the sandwich bags. Come on, y'all remember? Like I do remember that joint. My memory's not that bad. Um, and what I will say is this: uh, Red Breed Entertainment <laughs> is continuing to bring us fire. Like the card that they have coming up is an actual. It's actually a pretty good card. You know what I'm saying? Like you got Ill Will versus Jag on there. You got uh, this Cal and Hitman. Uh, you got some more joints on there too. I don't remember the whole card up front. I ain't gonna hold you. I sue me. I'm rooting for everybody that's black. Uh, Y'all, I hope they all do their thing. Um, but what I will say is, uh, Hitman ain't about to play no games with Calico. Like it don't look like he he's playing no games. And Calico, and the thing is, for Hitman, he definitely needs a cleaner battle than his battle with Cassidy. He needs a like even though. A lot of the battle rap fans have Cassidy winning. There's a lot of fans that have Hitman Hollow winning too. But he needs a more definitive 
cleaner win, better performance versus Calico. Like it should not, the debating, or, oh, he kind of could have cut a maybe oodle suda boodle wood like that, it's just not going to be it. As much as Hitman man makes and his, the way he talks and the, the attention that he demands and commands with his presence, he has to get a clear win over uh, a Calico. I ain't saying he got to be a 3 0 or no shit like that, but he has to at least walk out of there 2 1 all across the board. Everybody feels the same. Not no, oh, it's 1 1. The, the, the third is a toss up. If you're going to validate what you're validating by talking heavy and all the shit that you mean, he you make sure that your battle is dope too. Because I know it ain't going to end up in nothing that it don't need to be, but y'all are definitely going left field with it. And it's going to be in Atlanta. Oh, speaking of Atlanta, Trey Young, Atlanta Hawks? Bro, I know I be talking sports sometimes at like the end of the blogs and shit like that. Dog, the Atlanta Hawks could literally can not saying it's gonna happen Atlanta Hawks can win the NBA championship though if they keep making shots and they, <laughs> these they got it in them I knew this year was crazy when I seen Danilo Gallinari shake PJ Tucker and hit the jump shot on I said yeah this year don't count and then when I seen PJ Tucker try to do a shimmy sham up and under move that's not even in his bag he need more VC for that you know PJ, you know you need more VC for that. That's not even in your bag. A shimmy sham up and under? That's not even you. The, what was you thinking? Um, Atlanta looks real good. I'm not going to lie. Uh, they have something for Milwaukee that Brooklyn didn't have. They have the size to match up with them. They have the height. Clint Capella and John Collins are formidable. They're not better than Giannis. It's really hard to be better, but they are formidable. Clint Capella had 19 rebounds. That is formidable, and they're gonna be there. They're gonna be. They're gonna fight. I'll tell you this. And Chris Middleton cannot shoot six for 20 or six for 25 or some bullshit like he did last night. It's just not gonna work. They're gonna have a long series. Um, but if Trey Young is scoring 40 a night. Atlanta gonna be a hard one to take out of here. I ain't gonna hold you. The Bucks are still predicted to win the joint, but if they go down 2 0 going to Atlanta, it could get a little sticky. Um, Chris Paul will be back tonight. Uh, the Clippers without Kawhi Leonard are probably gonna get swept. Um, we could probably book that. They might get one, but if they don't got Kawhi back, which it doesn't look like, ACL injuries are real tricky, man, because. Uh, he may have a partially torn, he may have a torn, he may have a sprain, whatever's going on with his ACL. They're not putting him out there. That's not a, it's not an injury you're coming back for in the week. And with that being said, it's unfortunate because the Clippers did have an opportunity to win the whole thing. But without Kawhi, just Paul George, huh, ain't happening. Other than that, salute to every single one of y'all out there. Game. Smoking cookies, but I let them run. Niggas ran on this man when he got jumped. That's heavy. I just dropped 30 on my neck. That's heavy. A nigga play, he gotta meet the set. That's heavy. That's Damn, heavy. don't like the walk, he like the tech. That's heavy.